All right, today we're going a different way. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the shops around my neighborhood here in West Babylon. Give you a quick little tour. Stop. So we got a really nice wine and liquor store over there. Get all your holiday alcohol from them. Nice owners, New York Giants fans. Decent prices. Here we have next to it, which I believe it's the same owner. That is Island Grill Tacos. Best tacos in town. Come on, jump up. Come on. You smell something? Come on. Get up. Jump. Come on. Best pizza, Bernello's. Come on. No, we're not going in there. No, we're not going in there. Come on. Come on, go. Come on. You smell the pizza, I know. There's a barber shop over here. My little brother goes there. Come on. My little brother goes there like twice a month. Carvel ice cream. Come on, keep walking. What are you doing? Dopey. What are you scared of the cars? This used to be the best bakery. They recently shut down. Then over here, where my mom gets her nails done. There's Deli Boss. That's where I get my egg sandwiches from. Right next door. You got the laundry mat. You need a laundry card. And then past the laundromat, you got uh, the best Chinese food in town. I say the best because it's the only Chinese food in town. It's been there for like 20 plus years. For lease. Huh. I wonder if somebody will buy it. Stationary store at the corner. Get all your lottery and gifts and you need to fax something, come to the lady. Come on. Come on. What, are you scared? No, I'm gonna go work this way. Come on, go. Oh, do you have to go to the bathroom? What's your deal, man? What's your deal? Come on. This gas station used to be extremely busy. They shut down last year. So, uh, what are you doing? Get out of the bush! He owns another one down the road that's still functioning, so maybe he just wanted to siphon everything down. I'm not 100%, but he wasn't really that nice of a dude, so whatever. Up over here, there's a father and son uh, beer and liquor, uh, soda distributor. Good people. It's called Superstar Beer and Soda. Superstar Beer and Soda. Right next to it is a little uh, hair salon. Uh, I see a lot of the older broads go there. But yeah, Superstar Beer and Soda. Good people, good prices. Check them out if you're in the West Babylon area. You got the People's Bank of Suffolk right here. Used to um, used to do business with the, business with them, but I switched to uh, Bank of America. Good people. Good people. Oh, my pants are falling down. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Okay. Come on. Drive by the bank. Drive by, walk by. Come on, jump up. Good girl. Here's the other gas station. That that uh, gas station owner I was telling you about. Looks like they uh, they cleaned up the place a little bit. Looks fancy. Come on. Up here, I believe. It's another hair salon, and then you got Everbest Cleaners. Decent people. Whenever we have our uh, fancy clothes that needs to be tailored and cleaned and what have you, that's where we go. 
relatively cheap and they do an awesome job so go figure sir john's beauty salon this has been here for god knows how many decades couldn't tell you two three might have been here before i was born come on go a little bit further and then we'll uh, head down one of the side streets we got another beer soda. Uh, Lotto place coming up. There's uh, another nail salon and there's uh, halal food. I, think, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Come on. Get away from the fence over here. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. You're really dragging me today, man. Puppy patrol. So, you got your beer, your soda, you got Leon Nail Salon, you got Halal Meat and Grocery. Most of these places have also been, uh, there's a little strip there. Most of these little places have been in business for several years. We got her vet right up here, which is, it's convenient, but vet bills are not cheap. Sounds like there's an alarm going off somewhere. Right down the road is C&J. That's a, uh, uh, a butcher. Good food there. Good cut to meat. All right, she's dragging me this way, so we're gonna go back down. Come on, leave it. Jesus, man. Going berserk all today. Come on, we'll go down the side street. Come on. So this building right here, apparently, I don't know why I'm whispering, there's nobody here. Apparently they give happy ending massages here. So you didn't hear that from me, but uh, there's some uh, freaky stuff going on in there. All you have to do is <laughs> Google West Babylon happy ending massages and a picture of that building comes up. So. Uh, I don't know. Don't step on that. Don't step on that. Come on, don't step on that. Bum, bum, bum. It's actually a little warm out today. I'm in like full winter gear right now. I'm sweating. These houses are fairly new right up here. These two houses. They got the solar panels on that. Oh, two. Oh, and over there too. Look at that. When this pandemic's over, I gotta look into that. Uh-oh. Are they coming this way or? Yep. You'll hear that all night long with the pandemic. Ambulances driving by with the sirens on, echoing through the night. Suffolk has a little bit of a spike from the coronavirus, so. If you're in Suffolk, just be careful. I get you want to be around people. You don't want to wear a mask. Just be careful. You know. Some of these houses down here are very old. Nice, but, you know. Some of them need some upkeep. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, now she's starting to get tired because she's not pulling me. It's so always around that 10 minute mark. She starts to uh, crap out a little bit. Oh, another one's coming. Where is it? Oh, that was uh, the fire chief. So maybe there's a fire somewhere. That happens a lot here in the winter time. Keep going. Oh, that pizza place we walked by is called Brunello's. I think I'm saying that correct. Brunello's. And the barbershop's next to it, and then there's uh, the Carvel. 
Carmel is always good for cheat days. She gets a cheat day, cheat day too, so we usually walk up there and get vanilla ice cream. Kind of want Pernellas now. <laughs> oh, we got a car for sale. Anybody want to buy a car? We're on Farragut. No, we're not on Farragut. We're on, uh, the hell is this block name? Oh, there's the car that's for sale. Uh, Ba -ba -ba -ba. Windmill, Windmill Avenue. Windmill Avenue, car for sale. Oh, you're panting now, huh? Look at this street. Completely ripped up. You know, it's, it's not a bad neighborhood, though. Not too bad. I mean, it has its it, it has its crimes like every other town, but this is the hard uh, working men and women. It's the middle class neighborhood. Taxes are very high. Living in the suburbs, taxes are high. We'll go see your friends. We'll see if your friends are out. We'll say hi to them real quick and then we'll head back home. Jeez. They need some road work. A little cloudy over here. This is, uh... This is, uh... Long Island weather for you, though. Changes on the drop of a dime. A lot of these neighborhoods over here uh, have rabbits everywhere. I'm not sure, like, the breed. They're like little brown rabbits, I don't know. I don't know what the technical term is for them, but... Is our friends. Yeah. Which block is your friends? I forgot. Getting old. Is it this way? Or is it one more down? I think it's them right over there. Come on. Come on. We're gonna go see your friends. Come on. You're doing good. Oh, wow, that's bright over here. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's their house right up there. It's a nice day out, so hopefully they'll be outside. Come on, you're the star of the show. I gotta take you to get groomed. You know that? No, this way. No, this way. No, this way. We're not going to the telephone pole. No, no. No, we're not going to the telephone pole. Come on. Go around this puddle. Come on. Leave it. Come on, leave it. Oh, they're gonna have a party up there? Oh, you're brave. What, is that a wedding? What the heck is that gonna be? Oh, it doesn't look like the outside. Oh, man. Now, don't pee over there. Yeah, they would be. Oh. Pick up after your dog. Let's go see what this tent is. Who is this? What does it say? 
something. Future Mrs. Something. Future Mrs. Something. Congratulations, Mrs. Congratulate. Oh, let's wait for this car to go. It says, congrats, future Mrs. Something. <laughs> I can't read it. It starts with an S. I don't know what it says. Leave it. Leave it. Come on. Oh, there's nothing in there yet. I guess. It's going to be some type of ceremony in there. Huh, it's weird. Good for them trying to do the right thing. Celebrate outside. People have to be together during these times. That's what makes this pandemic so tough. People have been separated. This house is beautiful, man. This house has come, come very far. It's come along real nice. Come on. You don't have to stop and pee every five seconds. Pee in one spot. Spend your time uh, mocking your territory. You think you own the place? Come on. Come on. Leave it. Leave it. I was on, uh, leave it. I was on Vince Russo's podcast last night, so... Shout out to Vince Russo and the brand. Um, Vince Russo was a writer for the WWE when it was called the WWF from 1994. Was it 94 to 1999? Um, he did a little interview with me, which I appreciate. So go check him out on YouTube. Vince Russo, the brand. If you're a wrestling fan. Uh, he's the podcast you want to be listening to. Him and Ocho. Ocho is a, Ocho's a ride on uh, Sunday nights. Wow, the sun's really beaming over here. I heard something about a snowstorm coming. I don't want to get snow again. Come on. I don't want snow. This guy at this house right over here. Whenever the Mr. Frosty truck would come, come on, he would, uh, he was obviously a bigger man. He would get, like, everything from the menu. Vanilla cone, double cone, banana split. I remember waiting in line, like, dude, like, is it our turn yet to order from the ice cream? It's a good thing about West Babylon is they have, uh, Mr. Frosty comes like every day during the summertime and even springtime as well all right oh well, we're on a block i'm gonna cut the video hopefully you guys like my little tour now wasn't that great i got work to do i'm new to this but you guys have a blessed week